So I was upstairs, right? Actually, no, I was downstairs. What am I saying? And I meant to, like, put the thumbnail on my other tablet because that's where I left the thumbnail photo on the other tablet. And then, I don't know why, but I must have, I must be used to this because I ended up automatically grabbing a thing of popcorn like I'm eating now. And putting it in the microwave, and I just did it. Like, I didn't even think about it. But anyway, today we are reacting to Video Games Changed My Life, man. Like, by <laughs> something else, YT. It's been a while. I think I only... Actually, wait. I've never reacted to a Something Else YT video. But, whatever. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, and comment to Something Else YT and myself. And yeah, let's get into the video. Can I play? I, I promise I'll do good. <laughs> well, we're kind of so, do, 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 do. Uh, Yeah, you can play. Awesome. Well, with my control, with my, where is it? <laughs> what are you doing? He's a baby and doesn't even know how to take care of himself. Look, look at it. He good? He just drew it? you expect him to know how to play a sophisticated game such as Halo 2? Trust me. Halo 2 is easy, so that bro. Way everybody's happy. All right, Adam. Let me go grab your controller. Uh, you're going to play on... Uh, that side of the screen, okay? <laughs> okay. But your controller's not even plugged in. <laughs> uh, what? Do I look like a simpleton to you? Adam, I mean, you did okay. fail it for like five <laughs> minutes. Adam, listen here, you listen good, you vexing, vicious, vomit-inducing vagabonds. <laughs> what? It's my turn to use the Xbox. Video games are one of man's greatest inventions, next to fire, the real, and the bagel. As much as news media and people with stick up their butts find video games to be the next Satan, I have to say, without video games, I don't think I would have grown up to be doing what I'm doing I would have been watching TV, really and I just burnt myself. I'm spitting fire over here. <laughs> Adam, how do video games correlate at all to you becoming an animator? I'll get to that, but first, allow me to kiss the ass of the video game industry and how they <laughs> affected my childhood for the better. Specifically, Nintendo. For you see, I twas but a humble loser growing up and, well, I, not loser per se, but I didn't have many people to hang out with. Upside is, I've always sort of been an independent little bean that was able to keep myself entertained on my own. But the more I grew up, the more I found myself wanting... Ugh, Friends. Freak. It's it's friends, bro. Nah, I'm just kidding. Be I'm extroverted. Actually, I'm an extrovert. The real problem was I was annoying when I was a kid, and most kids at my school found me weird or loud. I don't understand why they. Why would they say that? So I grew up kind of secluded. You're loud right now, right? I didn't really have much to do except, you know. Play video games. I mainly played on consoles that were older than I was, like the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64. But despite them being old farts, I think they kept me strong when I was lonely. You see, whenever I played a video game, I always imagined myself being the character I was playing as. So you immerse <laughs> yourself into the game. Everyone does that. Precisely. I could have easily let the negative thoughts of being lonely and not being liked by others. <gasps> Look at that smile on his face. He just keeps on getting. But I didn't. Because Super Godzilla wouldn't let that shit happen. Super Godzilla. All the video game characters I admired would stay strong. Why is that a Think game? Simon Velma had time to stress over thoughts like that while kicking Dracula's butt? No. Super Mario, Mega Man, Star Fox, Ricky Winterborn, Eyeball Girl. Ricky Winterborn. I have never even all heard of that. Stay strong during I've heard of all these other games, though. That's how I wanted to be. But I'd never let that stuff get to me. And I think video games were a direct cause for me having that mindset. Something I'd like to think back to is that because of this, it's helped me become stronger for others, too. I like how the mouth is just coming off the face. Reasons, go over to them, see what's bugging them, and figure out a way how Super Adam could save the day. After a while, I started to gain a group of friends of my own, and I didn't really feel lonely anymore. Video games helped me learn to... Oh yeah, now you can play Smash Brothers with them. Bonding. Granted, not in the way intended, but heck it. If it works, it works. <laughs> well, I still don't see how this correlates at all to you now. What the... Not even a little bit... Do you think I'm an asshole? <laughs> Anyways, I can pinpoint the biggest impact a video game, no, video game system has ever had on me. The Nintendo Wii. My PSI. And Never no, mind. My boys Kratos and Master Chief had big impacts on me too, but no other system has impacted me harder than this one. And yes, some of you may remember the harrowing epic of Billy and how he broke my DS. And I did get that one replaced, but uh broke that. Apparently the original Fat DS had this problem where the top screen would just 
fall off. So I ended up with a uh, weird looking Game Boy Advanced SP. <laughs> DSi, probably till this day is my number one favorite system and was the newer model to the original Fat DS and DS Lite. You might be thinking, oh, well, Adam, everyone had a DS and what is it? I didn't have a DS, I had a 3DS. It impacted everyone's lives. Was a terrible impression. Well, I will say that the library Wii. of games did keep my head up high whenever I was down. And Mario and Sonic are doing good games, oh my god. Collection. But nothing has impacted me more than a game or, I guess, an app that can only be found on this system. The year was 2009 and I had moved from California to Arizona. Once again, oh, I just I didn't black and white friends, thingy but day, that's normal when you move to a new area. Video games themselves were still a great coping mechanism for crippling boredom, but one day a new free app was released on the DSi called Drumroll Please. Flip no hatina. If you don't know what flip, flip no hatina is, essentially a digital flip book where you could record your voice or you know anything and animate over that biz. Oh, it, all right, I get what he's easy to how he got into I'm this. Not gonna lie. When I now. first saw it, I was just like. <laughs> It was a cool game. I didn't think much of it, but the more I used it, the more I loved it. The fact that I was able to make my own cartoons grew on me stronger and stronger because I had always wanted to be a voice actor, but being a I think 12 year old at the time. <laughs> Freaking 12, I don't know how to get into that ninja group. So I made movies of my own. What was cool about this app is that they had their own little version of YouTube where you could upload your shorts for everyone to see. <sighs> Things started off slow, cause like, I didn't know how to animate at all. But the thing about practice is over time, I began to get better and better. <laughs> and even grew a bit of an audience. Pretty cool. I was known as Mango. Otherwise known as dollar sign mango dollar sign. A couple hundred people followed me and would tune in to see my shorts I post every so often. And in my little boy mind, that just. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, I'm so oh, famous. These dumb little shorts on this dumb little device is also how I began to animate and how I began to develop my art style to where it is today. I always think back to how different my life could have been if I was never introduced to animating on this little app slash console. The feeling That's cool, of creating though. things I was proud of and seeing others enjoy it as well was so awesome that it motivated me to become an entertainer no matter what. If the DSi was never made, I probably would never have come to that realization and sure as heck would never have become an animator. <laughs> it's so strange how the littlest of things can be life changers to some people. Sadly, the site was shut down after four years of being alive, and I never got the chance to introduce my audience to my YouTube channel. But eh, I built a new audience doing something that I loved, and I'm honestly maybe so there's proud one person that, that was in there, for enjoying what or I that's so in, in here. conclusion, video games are freaking awesome, dog. Hey, Adam, can you read out my end card for me? I can't speak because my jaw is wired shut after surgery and blah, blah, blah. I'm a lazy sack of... Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below if you have any similar experiences with video... So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, that's cool, though. Like, he would If he didn't have a DS, he probably would have never been here with everyone else but um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um do you have have video games that have like changed your life or what was your first video game you ever played mine i think was for the ps3 and it was something first is the world that's the that's the earliest game i remember me playing it was either that or new super mario brothers Wii. either way hope you enjoyed this video subscribe and comment to something else yt and myself and um yeah goodbye my fellow reactors